five tactics you must know. Ladies and gentlemen, hello everyone and welcome back. My name is Nitzan Steinberg, Grandmaster, and today you will solve five puzzles, really, really beautiful, and you will enjoy and learn. So let's get done. Okay, we have here with the black pieces, queen and a rook and three, uh, six pawns against queen, rook and two bishops and five pawns. So we are down two bishops and we are really like these two bishops. Oh no, how can we win it? So, oh, we don't have pieces. How can we win it? Oh, I know, queen to g1. We are sacrificing a queen, king takes f to check king is coming back to h1 and f takes c1 with promoting a queen bishop takes c1 and rook is coming from f8 to f1 with checkmate on the board let's show it queen g1 king takes f to check king h1 f takes c1 with promoting a queen bishop takes and rook f1 all the way to a checkmate with the black pieces and i must tell you guys the next one will be much better let's do it so we are with white pieces in this position and we have bishop and a pawn against three pawns black pawns so we are must win it but how how can we do it because the pawn will promote to a queen but i have an idea maybe we can play the move bishop to h1 king takes h1 right king f1 and the only move for black is to play d5 e takes d5 the only move to play e4 d6 e3 right d7 e2 check king takes e2 king g2 queen d8 we are promoting a queen but he also promoting a queen so it's not good or maybe it's better queen g5 check king h3 queen h5 check king g2 coming back because the queen here queen g4 check king h2 king f2 quiet move and the checkmate will come very fast with queen h4 or queen g3 or queen h5 i know it's a mess let's show it on the board bishop h1 king takes king f1 now the only move is to play d5 e takes d5 the only move is e4 d6 e3 d7 e2 check right king takes king g2 queen d8 we are promoting our queen he promoting also queen g5 check king h3 queen h5 check king g2 king g4 queen g4 sorry check of course king h2 and now king to f2 quiet move 11 moves on the board and we are winning the game queen h4 it's just a mate the threat and also queen h5 and also queen g3 so white is winning there is no possibility for black to avoid from checkmate and this is the second exercise of this video and the third one will be oh you don't know what it will be come on let's do it so we are with the black pieces with queen rook and a knight against queen two rooks knight and a bishop we have four pawns against five so we are down so much things rook bishop and a pawn so we must give checkmate but this diagonal oh maybe this is the solution but how can you do it because 94 queen g2 and we are not winning at all so how can we do a checkmate to white's king knight e1 maybe rook takes d5 just rook f1 checkmate because the king cannot go here to g2 because this knight here of from e1 is covering this square on g2 and king g1 also not possible because of the rook here right so black is winning but after knight e1 what can we do after king g1 oh queen h1 check we are sacrificing our queen king takes and rook takes f1 we checkmate i know you solved this first 91 after rook takes d5 just rook f1 we checkmate immediately and if king g1 queen h1 h1 we are sacrificing our queen king takes and rook takes f1 we checkmate amazing checkmate with these two pieces the rook and a knight and black is winning come on to the fourth the fourth but not the last one of our exercises today so in this position we have queen and a bishop and two pawns against queen and a bishop and five pawns oh no so we are down three pawns but 
what can we recognize in this position? We have this diagonal. And if we manage to put in this diagonal the bishop or maybe the queen, we will win the queen, right? On h8. So how can we do it? Let's do it. Bishop d4 check. King takes. We are sacrificing our bishop. Queen a1. Quite move. What black can do? So let's do it in our head. For example, king takes c4, b3, king takes, and we are taking the queen. After bishop d4, king takes, queen a1. If he's doing king c5, we have b4 check, right? And we're taking the queen. And if after bishop d4, king takes, queen a1, he will play queen f a check, we will play b3 check. The only move with the king to come to c5, queen a3 check, we're taking the queen. And, and the same thing, of course, after queen g8, b4 check, king takes c4, queen a2 check, we are taking the queen. So white is just winning, let's do it on the board, because I really want you to calculate in your head, to see it in your head, the board with the pieces, and let's imagine it together. Bishop d4 check, king takes queen a1, quiet move, king c4, just b3, king takes and taking the queen, of course, after king c5, b4, and we're taking the queen, of course, and white is winning, and of course, after the queen g8 check, b4, the only move is king takes c4, queen a2, and we're taking the queen with it, we just, uh, of course, a winning position for white, after queen f8, also b3 check, king c5, and queen a3, and we are taking the queen. So white is just winning. Unbelievable sacrificing with the bishop and to play queen a1 and there is nothing to play for black. Just losing the queen and losing the game. So the last but not least for our channel, we have this position with the black pieces. So we have queen and two rooks and a knight against queen, two rooks and a bishop. And we have one pawn against three pawns. So we are down two pawns. Oh, these two pawns. What can we do without our pawns? But we have some ideas of checkmates, right? If this knight will come to f2, it will be a checkmate. So let's try to do it. Knight d3. If queen takes c6, knight f2 with checkmate, right? And if knight d3... Queen takes d3, just queen c1. We checkmate because this king cannot escape to g2 because of the rook, right? So after knight d3, if rook takes d3, queen takes c4, rook f3 is covering this diagonal, this check, rook takes c3, bishop takes c4, and just rook c1, rook f1, and rook takes. We checkmate on the board, you saw it in your head? It's really, really amazing. Knight to d3. After rook takes, just queen takes e4, rook f3, rook takes c3, bishop takes e4, and rook c1 check, rook f1, and rook takes with checkmate. Forcing checkmate, and in this position, if queen c6, of course, knight to f2. We checkmate immediately. So black is winning. Ladies and gentlemen, we solved our five tactics for today that you must know. You you know, my uh, uh, suggestion for you to see this video twice, three times, or maybe 10 times, because it will help you to calculate better. See you soon. Don't forget, like and subscribe my channel. Thank you very much and goodbye.